Hey, I'm doing this preacher man RB and it's another episode of Retro TV 91. And this time I'm doing another movie reviews. And this time I'm reviewing G.I. Joe, The Rise of Cobra. And what happens on this movie, Duke and Rickford is transporting these uh, nanobite uh, warheads that Destro has made. And they don't know that Destro has made them. And the reason he's made them is to be able to steal them back and uh, start attacking different nations. And when... Uh, Rick Corden Duke is transporting them to where they're supposed to be transported. Uh, Cobra attacks them, and the Baroness is Duke's ex girlfriend. And we get some backstory on Duke and the Baroness and her brother Rex. And what happens is, is Duke and the Baroness's brother Rex they go off to war with Rick Corden. And they're uh, infiltrating this bunker. And when Rex goes in there, he meets uh, a co a doctor that's in the cartoon, he's a part of Cobra, but I can't remember his name. But anyway, Rex meets this guy and finds out what Destro is up to with these nanobites. And the bunker gets exploded by missiles because the the war, the Warhawks come in early and blow up the bunker while Rex is still in there. And Rick Cord and Duke have to leave because they have to get on the convoy to get out of there. And Duke wants to stay and save Rex, but Rick Cord says they ain't got time. So they leave, and Rex gets left with that doctor, and he becomes Cobra later on in the movie. Well, he's a scientist right now, and he's the one that came up with these nanobite warheads, and he's using Destro and Baroness and all these people. He has control over Baroness because he got the nanobites in her body, and he got control of the Cobra soldiers because he has the nanobites in their bodies too. He controls everything, and we find this out at the end of the movie. Well, Duke and Rick Cord gets recruited by the GI Joes, and they take them to their headquarters. And General Hawk tells them that they're protectors of all nations. Or every there's over 20 nations in the G.I. Joe, so it's a task force of all different nations. And Duke and Rick Ford start training, and they become G.I. Joes, and they, they go after Baroness and Storm Shadow when they are in Paris, and their plans are is to activate one of these warheads on the Alpha Tower. Well, Rick Ford, Duke, Scarlet, uh, Snake Eyes, and Heavy Duty try to stop them. And they don't stop them in time, and the war he hits the Alpha Tower, but Duke jumps into the airplane and deactivates the warhead, and it only puts a minimal damage on Paris. Well, when they're there, the Paris police, they arrest the G.I. Joes because they think the G.I. Joes are the ones that did this when they're really not. And the G these members of G.I. Joe are not allowed in Paris anymore after this. Well, Duke gets captured and takes to gets taken to Cobra's headquarters and the and the uh, polar ice caps on the top of the Earth, and the, they or Rex is trying to get the nanobites in top, inside of Duke because he could be one of his soldiers. And this is when Duke finds out that Rex is still alive and he's Cobra commander. Well, he ain't became Cobra commander yet, but anyway, Rex tells them the story of how he met the doctor and did all what I just told y'all a while ago. Anyway, the Baroness fights her programming and saves Duke and Rex and Destro get out of there after Duke blows up uh, a flamethrower in Destro's face and it scars his face. Or well, Rex and Destro get out into the submarine and try to get away. And they almost get away, but Duke's able to stop them. And before this, Rex injects Destro with the nanobots and it makes it turns his face into metal like in the cartoon and he's full on Destro in it. And then Rex puts on the Cobra Commander mask and he becomes Cobra Commander. And then the G.I. Joes capture Cobra Commander and Rex and the Baroness is trying to be helped to get these nanobots out of her body now. And that's all that really happened besides the fights between Snake Eyes and Storm Shadow. We get the backstory between Snake Eyes and Storm Shadow, how Storm Shadow killed their master and Snake Eyes took a vow of silence since it, that happened. And then Snake Eyes supposedly kills Storm Shadow in the final fight and that's all that happened in this movie. If y'all ever watched G.I. Joe The Rise of Cobra, 
What did y'all like about this movie? As always, Prince Man Harvey signed out. That was Gigi Zoff. This has been our episode of Retro TV 901. See you on next time.